on, guys. CHH here today. Have a seat. We're going to go through my Full Moon Features Blu-ray collection. Are you a fan of Puppet Master or or Subspecies or just Charles Band? And you're like, you know what? I'd like to get some of his movies on Blu-ray, but what's out there? I don't know. Because Charles sells most of his stuff through his website, and stuff will hit Amazon, but it's come and go. A lot of his Blu-rays, they'll show up on Amazon for Prime, boom, and they're gone, but they're usually readily available on his website. And maybe you're just kind of lost. Let me show you, because I think I have almost, almost the majority of his Blu-rays. I have way more DVDs, which if you like this kind of video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know you want to see the DVD edition of my Full Moon Charles Band collection, and we'll do it. Without further ado, let's get started. First up, we have the Evil Pong Stash Box. This is the initial run, autographed by Charlie. Welcome to my world, bitches. Tommy Chong, Ginger Dead Man vs. The Bong. This is great stuff. So this is the stash box. I have all these movies on DVD already. But um, here it is. And my DVDs are out of order. <laughs> I, got a, I got some misplaced, but we've got Evil Bong, uh, Evil Bong 2, King Bong, Evil Bong 3, The Wrath of Bong, Evil Bong 420, Evil Bong High Five, Evil Bong 666, Evil Bong 777. Uh, we got Evil Bong versus the Ginger Dead Man, which is one of my all-time favorites. Or Ginger Dead Man versus Evil Bong. Let's see if I can if I can uh, situate that one properly now. No, that's not it. There we go. Does that look better now? <laughs> but uh, these are classic, great films. Evil Bong. This is the stash box. King Bong. Evil Bong 3. That one's great. Evil Bong vs. Ginger Dead Man. I freaking love the Ginger Dead Man. Evil Bong 420. I haven't pulled the shrink wrap off of all these, but I have them on DVD. Evil Bong High Five. 666. They're on, I think a lot of these are on 2B2, by the way. Evil Bong 777. That's amazing. That one's good. And uh, Ouija's. This is the exclusive box set version of Ouija's. So there it is, guys. That's the Evil Bong stash box, which I think is still available. Um, they, they do a thing where if you sign up for the Full Moon streaming for $60 a year, you get 10 free Blu-rays. So I think you can get this if you want. You can get the Puppet Master box set if you want. You can get 10 Blu-rays. I'm going to do that soon because... There's still a lot of stuff, I think, on DVD I want to get, but uh, that's pretty cool. Next up, uh. Puppet Master Trunk. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up and let you look inside, and it's got the Blu-rays. This was gifted to me, one of the best gifts I've ever received. That is just beautiful. But we're going to reference the... Because it's kind of hard to get these in and out. So I'm going to reference uh, the Blu-ray box set. Uh, the standard edition. Which is right here. This is the standard edition full moon box set. Nothing wrong with this. If this is what you want to have, go for it. So... Puppet Master, the original, my favorite one. Puppet Master 2, Money. If you haven't seen these guys, oh my god, I'm so jealous you get to see these for the first time. Puppet Master 3, uh, uh, Toulon's Revenge. I don't know why it doesn't say that in front of the Blu-ray. Puppet Master 4, When Bad Puppets Turn Good. Puppet Master 5, maybe Puppet Master 5 is When Bad Puppets Turn Good. Curse of the Puppet Master. Eh. Retro Puppet Master. Eh. Puppet Master The Legacy, it's basically like a montage thing. Puppet Master Axis of Evil. Axis Rising, I think this one was a little bit better. Axis Termination, this one was good. And Arcana, Arcana of the Puppet Master, which is again like a compilation thing. Um, so you get a lot of Puppet Master uh, in this set. Um, I am a diehard Puppet Master fan. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, it's, I think it's one of the greatest horror franchises ever. It stands the test of time. The first three Puppet Masters are so good, it's criminal. 
Uh, this is direct-to-video stuff, but Paramount was distributing Charles' movies when he first started Full Moon, which was so important because it gave him good budgets, uh, good distribution. It was vital to his organization. So this is the Full Moon uh, big box of Taurus Trap. Now, this is one of the premier titles from Charlie's Full Moon. I think uh, this was under another company uh, when, he re when it was released that Charlie owned, but then Full Moon got the full rights to it to release it. Uh, Taurus Trap is one of the best titles uh, from this era, and it comes with a little figure. And um, such a great movie. Just set that down there. And then the Blu-ray, uncut, Taurus Trap, phenomenal film. If you have a fear of uh, mannequins, don't watch this. Actually, watch this. It's a great movie. It's a really, really great 70s flick. So Taurus Trap is awesome. Uh, I don't think the big box is available anymore, but you can certainly still get the Blu-ray. It's amazing 70, late 70s film. Came out around the same time as Halloween. All right, so let's get started. This is going to be like a very random uh, list because I just pulled everything out. So I excuse me for the out of order. Uh, well, I guess I can fix these right here. Subspecies 1, 2, and 3. Masterful films. These are the best foot forwards, in my opinion, of Charles making just really, really good movies. Subspecies 1 is an awesome film. Subspecies 2 is, uh, I think, the fan favorite. I think a lot of people love 2 more than 1 which I would probably agree. And Subspecies 3 is fantastic. Uh, these three movies look phenomenal in Blu-ray. Gorgeous uh, stop-motion animation. Beautiful effects for Radu the Vampire. Awesome. Awesome freaking movies. I mean, how do you not love that artwork, too? Look at that Subspecies, man. It's amazing. It's phenomenal. Pit and the Pendulum. Stuart Gordon film, Jeffrey Combs, Lance Hendrickson. Do I need to say anything more? Oh, Oliver Reed's in there as well. Uh, kind of sleazy. Uh, kind of, um, it is a timepiece, The Pit and the Pendulum. Uh, Lance Hendrickson is such, just marvelous in this, just marvelous. This is a great film. Stuart Gordon film. Uh, Stuart and Charles Band had a great relationship. They made a ton of movies together. And uh, this Blu-ray looks great. Lance Hendrickson again. I don't know what else I need to say. Uh, probably one of the best Full Moon titles of all time, Castle Freak. Uh, another Stuart Gordon film, Jeffrey Combs and Barbara Crampton. Um, they did a remake of this film. Not as good as this, but damn good for a remake that just came out. Castle Freak is a marvelous movie. Very, very good movie. Barbara Crampton, one of my favorite Barbara Crampton movies. Jeffrey Combs is phenomenal in this, and the creature is disgusting. Get on that. All right, here we go. One of the best, Doll Man. Seems kind of silly, right? Tw uh, 13 inches with an attitude. He's a guy from another planet, comes to Earth, has to battle monsters and zombies, not zombies, battle aliens and uh, a floating head, uh, Jackie Earl Haley. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Freddy Krueger, Jackie Earl Haley. This is awesome. The effects are so charming. It's so entertaining. Tim Thomerson is lovely. He is hysterical. You've got to get on Doll Man. I mean, I'm saying I'm saying that about all of these, but all these movies are fantastic. Demonic Toys, Charles Band's ripoff of Puppet Master. Absolutely adore this film. I have an original uh, one sheet of Demonic Toys from a video store. So good, Baby Oopsie Daisy, Terror Teddy, Jack in the Box. I mean, look at that Jack in the Box. Killer, the Killer Robot. So good, and the crossover Doll Man vs. Demonic Toys. Sleazier, funnier, comes in at like 61 minutes. It's a very short movie. 64 minutes, that is. Uh, so this movie is all killer, no filler. Love it. Uh, out of the three, if you're going to get one of these, I would say get Demonic Toys. Uh, but my personal favorite out of these three is Doll Man. So just for what that's worth. This is the uh, big box edition of Puppet Master. Blu-ray, special artwork. Absolutely adore that. One of my Puppet Master Blu-rays. The very, very, very initial release of Puppet Master on Blu-ray from Charlie when he was using different Blu-ray cases. 
the snap open case. Bought this in 2012. Trophy heads. Look at all those horror uh, uh, femme fatales. Uh, this guy is obsessed with uh, final girls and traps them all. Charles Band directed. Fun movie. Hideous. A.K.A. Deformed Freaks. It's exactly what you think it is. Another sleazy great one. Great stuff. Who directed this? Charlie. Oh, Charlie Band directed it. Hideous is fun. When did this come out? 97. This was uh, the the uh, ruthless aggression era of Full Moon, if you will. Meridian. Great one. Kind of like a Beauty and the Beast type movie. Really like it. Really, really like this one. This one's sexy and, you know, crazy and great movie. I love it. Who directed this? Charlie Band directed it. This is a good one. Good one. Oh, crap. Uh, without a doubt, these are must-haves. Um, Trancers, this is coming out in 4K this year, so if you want to hold off, please hold off. Get the 4K. Support Full Moon Video in 4K. Tim Thomerson, amazing movies. Uh, these Blu-rays, by the way, Trancers 2 and 3, they for some reason, these look stunningly good on Blu-ray. All, all the stuff that I've talked about so far all looks really good on Blu-ray, but Trancers 2, Helen Hunt's in that too. She's in all three of these. Trancers 2, for some reason, looks stunning on Blu-ray. I mean, pristine. And the same thing with Trancers 3, Death Lives, Jack Death is the name of his character. Great movies, absolutely great sci-fi horror films. I mean, Charlie mixes sci-fi and horror really good. Dr. Mordred, amazing Jeffrey Combs movie. This is supposed to be his, uh, what are, I think I called it Dr., uh, I, I said the wrong thing, but it's like his Dr. Strange, I think. Uh, I, if, I want, if I recall, they were going to do a Dr. Strange movie back in the day, but then they lost the rights, so then Charlie was like, screw it. So, um, great movie, though. Great, great, great movie. Love it to death. Great stuff. Who directed this one? Albert and Charles Band. That's his dad, I think. This was an Empire movie, but Charles got the rights back to it. Creepazoids. Absolutely phenomenal. Awesome movie. Linnea Quigley's in here. Uh, beautiful, beautiful movie. Beautiful, great, again, sci-fi horror film. Uh, lovely, lovely film. That's a must. Creepazoids. Shrunken Heads. Phenomenal, trashy, ridiculous movie. Love Shrunken Heads. Love it to death. This is uh, 1994. One of the best H.P. Lovecraft movies, Full Moon did, Lurking Fear. Great movie. Great, great movie. 94 as well. This also has uh, Christy from uh, uh, the Hellraiser movies, and she's beautiful in this movie. I mean, she's just, she's amazing in this. So, Lurking Fear is a must own. Probably, in my opinion, one of the, the best H.P. Lovecraft movie Full Moon did, not Empire. Blade the Iron Cross. Sorry, Charlie, this just this didn't do it for me. Uh, probably one of the fan favorites from the 90s from Full Moon. Head of the Family. Ridiculous, sleazy garbage. Hysterical, entertaining. Uh, look at that thing. Yeah. Charles Band directed this one as well, I think. No, no, Robert Talbot did. I thought Charlie directed this one. Oh, well. Head of the Family is a 10 out of 10. Hysterical. You gotta see if you're into great horror comedy, just sleazy nastiness. Uh, the Creeps to Four Monsters. This is the Monster Squad on drugs, acid, crack, meth, uh, strip club version. Amazing. The Creeps is awesome. I love this movie to death. Um, my God. This is amazing. If you haven't seen The Creeps, this is you. You have to see this movie. Sleazy, gross, dwarf Monster Squad. It's hysterical. And all the performers in that were great. They all were fantastic. Now, this was an old 70s film. Uh, Klaus Kinski and the Hand That Feeds the Gods. Uh, kind of boring, but at the same time, I still liked it. Just a slow burn, if you will. Don't don't put that, don't put that high, high on your list. 
This is a Spanish ripoff Blu-ray. I had to buy it. Robot Jocks, I think Scream Factory put this out for like three weeks and it went out of print. Ridiculous. Uh, so I bought the Spanish Blu-ray. But this was an Empire movie, Robot Jocks. Great movie. Stop motion, uh, big robot battles. Awesome movie. Was this Stuart Gordon? Yes, Stuart Gordon directed this. Amazing film. And then the even better sequel, Robot Wars. This was... Empire themselves that did this. Albert Band directed this. Uh, Barbara Crampton's there. Uh, again, big monstrous robots battling. It's uh, stop motion stuff. It's fantastic. It's really, really good. This is even better than Robot Jocks. Charles Band's first movie, we're going to end it off right here. Mansion of the Doom that he directed. His first, in his opinion, really good movie he directed. I think he worked on something beforehand. Uh, excuse me, he didn't direct it. He made it. The, his first movie he made, not directed, he made Mansion of the Doom. This was Lance Hendrickson's first movie. Uh, great movie. I really like it. Um, Mansion of the Doom. This is from the 70s. Full Moon just put this out on Blu-ray. Definitely get your hands on that. That, guys, is my Puppet Master, excuse me, my Full Moon Blu-ray collection. I went through a lot of titles. If you have any questions about anything, please leave your comment down below, and I will answer it as best I can. Uh, FullMoonDirect.com is where you can get these movies, but also check Amazon. Sometimes they're available for Prime. It just depends, but if you're looking into getting into Full Moon, uh, the world of Charles Band, hopefully this kind of steers you in some directions, and Charles loves to suck you in with, with artwork, so whatever one artwork wants, looks good to you odds are you'll probably like that movie because he's pretty good at matching his the feel of his artwork but if you have any questions please drop your comment below on a specific movie if you wanted to know more about one i'd be more than happy to give you some details uh, and that kind of thing if you enjoyed this please give it a thumbs up if you want the dvd version of this because there's movies like arcade seed people uh, uh, uh a bunch of them i'm drawing a blank there's a bunch of them uh, I can go through those too. Movies that haven't gotten the Blu-ray treatment yet. Uh, let me know, but I love you guys. Enjoy that full moon for life. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you to all my supporters on Patreon. To get behind the scenes photos, videos, and music, you can subscribe to my Patreon for as little as a dollar a month.